these questions re need us to do a bit of manipulation before we actually are able to integrate. Was if we look at the derivative of x squared plus four here, we'd really like two x up top, because, but we've only got x, so we need to do a bit of manipulation. If we put our two x in, which is it's fine because we we get the derivative of the denominator, so we're going to the derivative over the function over the function. Now by putting two x, two in there, I've multiplied the whole function by two. I can't change the value of the function, so I multiply the whole function by a half now. So a half times two gives us just x, one x. So we're back to the situation where we can drive the, integrate the function and get back to natural log of x squared plus four, but we have the half out the front. So if we drive that one, half of that would give us back to x of x squared plus four. And that's what we're doing with these ones. Three x, we really would like three x squared up top because that's a three x squared is a derivative of x cubed minus one. So, but we, so if we multiply by three, we have to multiply by one third as well, because one third times three gives us the one that we had there, which then now allows us to integrate, but then we're able to put it back to one third of natural log of x squared minus one, x cubed minus one. Again, let's have a little manipulation. We'd like the derivative up the top, which would be four x cubed. So we need to get four x cubed. Multiply by four, but also multiply by a quarter. Allows us to integrate the function to a log function. x minus 1, x squared minus 2x, well really it, the derivative is 2 lots of x minus 1 or 2x minus 2. So if we multiply the numerator the denom numerator by 2, we multiply the denominator by 2 and they would cancel out there. So it allows us to integrate to give us half of the natural log of x squared minus 2x. 3x, a little bit different with this one because what I want really is 2x up top so I can bring my 3 out the front and then bring multiply it by 2 and a half so it gives us a 3 on 2 out the front because 1 and a half times 2 is 3 so that's where we're able to get that and so we integrate 2x on x squared minus 1 gives us natural log of x squared minus 1 and 5x squared over x cubed minus 6 well, I take the 5 out because really one is 3x squared. But I multiply by 3, divide by 3. We're seeing that. Now, we remember we only ever do this technique with numbers. We never do it with variables. We can't do it with variables. Because we can't divide by x at any stage in this situation because we can't have x being equal to 0. So we don't know if x is going to be equal to 0 if we divide by x. That's why we can only do it with constants. So if you wary of this technique to change it to exactly what we need to in integrate to get us our log function, derivative of the function over the function, and manipulate our constants around it.